All will know the plan of salvation through the preaching of the gospel. Romans 10 6 8. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear, if there be none that preach? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace, of those who bring glad tidings of good things. 16 But not all have obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who believed in our preaching? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, indeed, for all the earth came forth their voice, and their words unto the uttermost part of the world. But I say, did not Israel know it? First, Moses says, I will make you jealous with those who are not a people. With foolish people I will provoke you to anger. And Isaiah boldly saith, I was found by them that sought me not I was manifested unto them that asked not of me. But to Israel he says, All day long I have stretched out my hands to rebellious and contradictory people. Letter to Romans, chapter 10, verse 6 to 8. Dear brothers and sisters, the gospel is undoubtedly the most important thing in the life of any human being. It is what transforms it from an animate creature, which is not eternal to a spiritual person, because the things of the spirit remain eternally. But in order for this transformation to take place, it is necessary for it to have the information of spiritual things so that it can integrate itself with a spiritual content that transforms it from a mortal being into an immortal being that never dies. So we see the importance of the gospel, because the gospel is the only form of transformation. But the Apostle Paul speaks here in Romans chapter 10, verse 14 and 15 How do you get to God, how to believe in God? Have we never heard to speak how to hear speaking if there is no speaker? if no one is sent to speak. However, he points out how beautiful the feet of those who proclaim the good news of salvation. But not everyone obeys the gospel, for Isaiah says, Lord, who believed in our preaching? But we know that faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God, we end up knowing God, and the plan of God. For our salvation. But Israel did not realize that this knowledge they had would have to pass to other nations, so Moses said, I will place genes within you, for others who do not know me as you, will know me also. Isaiah says, I was found by those who did not seek me, I was manifested by those who did not know me, and were not questioning about me. And these, to whom Isaiah refers, are we, who we hear and who we know, and who accept it, and now that we are bringing others these good news, of salvation which is the gospel. Glory to God.